Hi there everyone, good afternoon. This is Liz Davis. I am a nutritionist and I specialise in digestive health for busy women. So I help busy women fix their IBS, bloating, painful digestion, any associated hormone problems or chronic fatigue, etc., which can at least in part normally be traced back to our gut health. Okay, so probiotics really useful supplements to be taking if you're suffering with your gut health obviously because we tend to associate probiotic supplements and probiotic foods with directly with our gut health um, but there's also a whole slew of other conditions that probiotics can help you with as well it's getting really confusing out there at the moment when you're shopping for supplements there are so many different strains and they all help with different things um, and you can end up feeling like you're being a bit bombarded with all the dozens and dozens of different um, uh, supplements that are available this is why i always recommend testing first if you have any kind of ongoing gut problems that you just can't nail definitely test first before you start supplementing with probiotics because once you know what you're dealing with, it's much, much easier to kind of really hone your treatment plan and um, avoid any problems. For example, if you're suffering with SIBO, um, which is bacteria growing in the small intestine and you start putting probiotics in, then you can sometimes face problems because it can sometimes aggravate things and make it a little bit worse for you. Um, so that's the kind of digestive area we know that probiotics help with, but there's also a few other areas as well. Um, the next biggie would be with mental health and well-being. So if you're sort of starting to suffer a bit with anxiety or depression or low moods, anything like that, then certainly looking into a probiotic supplement can go some way to help you. It's probably not the only course of action that you'll need to take, um, because as always, we'd be looking at the kind of overall picture and the overall health um, of you. Um, but probiotics certainly, and certainly some strains are known to really help with that, particularly if you've got gut issues going on at the same time, there's a lot we can do with probiotics to help both areas. Um, next up would be certainly to boost your immunity. You've got a lot of your immune system in your gut and certain strains of bacteria are known to really benefit you with um, your immune, immune health, certainly not just boosting your digestive, your digestive immunity, but kind of systemically as well. They can really help you to do that. Next up would be skin health, psoriasis, eczema, um anything like that acne can certainly be supported by taking probiotic supplements there's a lot there's a big link between what's going on in your gut and what's going on in your skin so certainly some strains of probiotics can really help you with that as well um next up definitely while you're taking antibiotics to try and minimize some of that damage caused by the antibiotics so sometimes when you take well often when you take um, antibiotics to some degree it's going to impact your microbiome negatively so you can absolutely take probiotics at the same time you're taking antibiotics um, Saccharomyces boulardii for example is a good one for, for doing this um, as long as you're not taking them at the same time of the day um, they should you know with, withstand that okay if you take them at the same time the antibiotics will just knock out the probiotics and it, it will be a pointless exercise um, but take them at a different time during the day and you can continue taking them afterwards as well so after you've finished your course of antibiotics next up would be while you're traveling again our friend Saccharomyces boulardii is great for traveling um, do take it when um, you can start taking it two weeks before take it during and then take it when you get back as well so um, if you're going anywhere that you know is prone to causing digestive upset, traveler's tummy and diarrhea and that kind of thing, it can help you feel a lot more confident and help you avoid those situations as well. So generally though, so those are a few areas that probiotics can help with as well. If you're in good health, if you haven't got any health niggles, if you um, just want to take something to keep things ticking over nicely, I would be looking more at prebiotics rather so make sure you're feeding your gut microbiome nicely with uh, eating a nice rainbow of foods every day 
um, lots of different colours, that's what your gut's bacteria like, lots of onions, garlic, that kind of thing can really help to keep your gut microbiome nice and healthy and then you can also be looking at adding probiotic foods as well, so natural yoghurts, sauerkrauts, um, kefir etc is all good for adding that bacteria in and keeping things ticking over nicely for you. Again, if you are suffering with your gut, you will want to establish what's going on there first, what's causing the problems before you start adding in any kind of fermented food, because again, it could make things worse for you. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. There are some recipes to download below, so do download those if you haven't already. And um, I shall see you next time. Okay, bye.